Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugly channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 9999, or the Karma Land Amusement Park. This one is a very unique and very mysterious level. It's also extremely liminal. So if you like liminal spaces in the back rooms, then you're really going to like this video. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 9999 is classified as a class pending, which means that its safety is undetermined and there is also an unknown entity count. Pretty much, no one is really sure if this level is safe or not. Now the level itself looks like an abandoned amusement park that's covered in a thick fog, almost always. The park is on some sort of island, and around this island is an ocean. And the ocean is very, very deep, like extremely deep. And the water is actually salt water, like real life oceans. Right off the bat, it is not recommended to go into the water because nothing is known about it. No one knows if there's any entities in there, or if you're just unalive if you go into it. Who knows? Now the amusement park itself itself is pretty normal compared to real life ones. There are a ton of rides like roller coasters and merry-go-rounds and all the typical stuff that you've seen in real life. There's also a lot of Ferris wheels. Now all of what I just told you is pretty normal, right? You know, it's pretty it's pretty accurate to how our life is as well. Except on this level, the roller coasters are very weird. They have very strange and anomalous effects that can either be extremely good or extremely bad for you. And I'm going to explain what that means now. Each coaster is an exit from this level, but it's not as easy as just hopping on one and being sent out. Instead, the leading theory is that the level itself will choose if you can leave based off of your karma. That's right, your karma. Pretty much the level somehow figures out how good or bad of a person you are based off of your entire life. And it goes off of however good or bad it thinks you are in order to choose which level it sends you to. So when you get to a roller coaster, the level will just choose how good or bad you are as a person, and then based on how it chooses, it'll either send you to a nice level or a dangerous level. And on top of this, whatever it chooses, the ride will then turn to be either dangerous, foggy, or clear. If the roller coaster turns dark and gloomy, like you're seeing now, then the level apparently thinks that you're not a good person based off of your life's deeds. The sky will turn dark and then red, and then the ocean around the level will go from water to liquid pain. Once this is all happening, you'll be sent to a scary or terrifying level in some way, like level exclamation mark, or the void, or something like that. If the roller coaster does not change, and it stays at its normal fogginess, then the level thinks you're a neutral person, and that you're not that bad, but you're also not that good. People on the neutral roller coasters are probably sent to one of the first five levels, but it's unknown because we can't tell. Now, if the level's fog goes away and a bunch of lights come on, then the level has decided that you have good karma and are a good person. When the level's in this state, it looks like a normal carnival from real life, and the fog that's normally on this level is gone. It's also thought that you'll be sent to a pretty safe level, like level 6999, or level 11, if it chooses that you're a good person. Of course, these are all just guesses based on how we think the level reacts to people. It could be something else entirely, though. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> this is the back rooms. We have no idea. But if none of that makes sense, I'm going to explain it in the simplest way possible. You can get on a random roller coaster on this level, and then that roller coaster, or the level itself, will choose if you are a good person or not. And whatever roller coaster you're on will then transform into either a dark and gloomy one, a normal foggy one, or it will clear up, and it'll be lit up and nice. And based off of what the level chooses, you'll be sent to either a dangerous, mildly dangerous, or safe level. The only entity here on this level is facelings, and if you don't know what they are, they're just semi-sentient humanoid beings with a blank face. And on this level, they've been seen walking around the rides and riding them, except there's never been any scene on the roller coasters. Only people have been there. Weird. There are no colonies or outposts here, and to enter the level, you have to be sent here randomly from the previous level, level 9998. Now, it's really rare to be sent here, but you could just be walking along the previous level and just fall through the floor and wake up here. So that's cool. To exit, 
You have to do what I said and ride a roller coaster, and then it will decide which level it sends you to, based off of if it thinks you're good or bad. And no one knows how this level can judge a person's life, because that would mean that it would have to have had access to that person before the back rooms, or somehow the level has downloaded data about each person that comes here, or something like that. We don't know. There's been no higher power found that's controlling the level, as far as we can tell, and it seems to be that this area as a whole is alive, and the entire higher level is an entity, and it acts as sort of a moral compass. The better person you are in its eyes, the better level you get sent to, and the worse person you are, the worse level you get sent to. That's it for the explanation of Backrooms of a 9999. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and supporting me. And thank you for watching till the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Comment down below this keyword, Karma Brugli, because if you do that, you're a real one for watching here and not clicking off. I really appreciate you. And I will throw a heart at every comment that I see with that keyword. I'll try to. There's so many comments on each video, I might not be able to get to everybody, but I will to as many people as I can. Make sure to check out all the links down below if you need them. My Twitter, second channel, third channel, you know what's down there. I upload like three times a week on each of those other channels, so go check them out if you want more of me. Also, sub to this channel to help me get to 500,000. We are nearing the final push to it, and I cannot wait to hit that. I'm going to be buying the backrooms outfit when I get there. You all know this. Help me get there if you want to. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.